Hey people, quick video for you today. Just some quick advice. This is going to be called the Frodo trick. People are aware of this trick already. My demonstration here is going to be with a sealed door. Um, it's still the same thing. Frodo can do exactly this trick um, and is a great, great, great piece of advice uh, for the top tier players who like to, I don't know, um, sort of like play other numbers, get every advantage they can um, and sort of like minimal losses, maximum gains kind of thing. Um, what am I talking about? It is the madness trick. Um, you'll find it with the likes of Frodo mainly, but my demonstration will, with, will be with Isildur. You need Frodo and Sam, and he, they have to be respect five. Why is that the case? It's because of their R5 tree. There's a trick here with Ring of Terror. What does this do? The first two rounds against enemy commander and units... 70% chance to inflict madness each round. What does that mean? It means there's a chance of the enemy attacking themselves, right? Well, yeah, great. We've all seen madness. We've all done this. Like, we, 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 we use madness. Yeah, that's great. However, what's great about this is you can do minimal investment. You can see here Ring of Terror does it. Isildur does a little bit of a uh, better version, I think, because he'll do the Ring of Terror. Also, the Consequence of Greed, where it's a guaranteed first round 100% inflict. Uh, but he also does a increased damage to people with Madness. Uh, so it's a much better version, but it's the same point where you can do Madness on all enemies, and it is really, really key. And we'll run through what goes on. How do you build this first of all? All you need to do is take someone like Isildur and fill him up with one unit of each. This season, you can see I'm season 5, so don't take this unit composition as being key. You can ignore it, season 5 is a weird one. In general though, you want to be using people with evasion. So the likes of Sentinels, max their swiftness, Marksmen, max their swiftness, and then the last one, the uh, Hunters, max their swiftness. What that means is you get an evade from each of them, and they each take one attack. That's six attacks that they can take, well, Madness is possibly being inflicted to everyone. In here, I've got technically two evades on the Cavalier and Thingy, but ignore it. Like I said, it's a Season 5 kind of tactic. So... If I did this, what happens? Well, what you do is get an opportunity. Like I said, a uh, big shout out to Goo here. Uh, great guy, really, really uh, big, big whale guy. Um, absolute kick ass. However, look at this. I'm using only 12,000 HP of units, okay? And what do I do? I attack Goo, and he does, what is it, 60,000 damage to himself. If you think about it, what you would do in this situation to make the maximum value is you attack with a sealed door just before, like a second before you hit with your big hitter. What it leads to is it means that they can blow themselves up and then your big hitter does maximum damage and minimum damage to your best units, your best commander, um, and you can use them again without the sort of chance of um, death and having to sort of wait before the... Uh, he responds. Um, here, let's have a look at this, and let's have a look at this first round. So you can see here, he sealed those ma madness didn't affect sealed door, blah blah blah. Sealed door attacks, great. Cavalier attacks, great. Whatever, dinner dinner attacks, knight attacks, great. So we then get a Dane Iron Point beset with madness, could not differentiate from friend or foe, and then he smacks his guardians for twenty four thousand damage. We then get another from Dane Dane hits his own guys again for 6,500 and then he hits a cleave on Guardian for 21,000 damage. This is an insane first turn. Now imagine following this up with a big kind of like hit. Um, that's what it, that's what's so good about it. He sealed all then attacks again, the Cavalier attacks again, Dunedin attacks again, Knight attacks again. And finally, they start hitting me rather than themselves. But we got here up to round three with three units against a big fat whale um, Dane. And we got to round three with him. And yeah, he's smacking himself and hurt himself. It's a great tactic. You can do the same thing with Frodo. The best thing to do it with is against evil with Alchemist. Which king comes in with his 5,000 Alchemists 
and they go madness on themselves and start smashing their own uh, own targets. I've seen upwards of 100,000, I think 150,000 damage done with only like 10,000 HP. It is insane. It's a great, great, great thing to do. If you haven't got Refrodo to respect 5, I definitely recommend you doing it. If you've got a sealed door, you lucky buggers, because you can do it at respect zero. Um, just get him up a few levels and um, yeah, he's a winner. Hope you like the trick. If you uh, haven't heard this one before, let me know in the comment section um, and tell me if you get some good results from it. Obviously, you experienced players, I've, I've been seeing this for a few seasons now. Absolute great tactic and um, yeah, if you want to take your um, tactics to the next level, this is definitely something I would introduce. Love you all. If you like the content, hit that like and subscribe button. And I shall see you all next time. Love you.